Assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Ryan and welcome to another video of my channel so today we are going to be talking about should muslims celebrate the birthday of a prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so uh, there may be some muslims telling you that this is an innovation or bidah and we should not celebrate this while there may be some of the muslims telling you that we should do it to get closer to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so what is the truth So the majority of the scholars of Islam, those who follow Quran and the Sunnah, say that this is an innovation, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself told that every innovation is misguided and from Shaitan and is rejected. So after looking at many videos, I found that the eight reasons why celebrating the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's birthday is wrong, but then there could be even more because I'm not a scholar. So reason number one, which is the biggest reason, is that the Prophet and his companions never celebrated it. So it becomes an innovation, and the Prophet himself told that all innovations are rejected in Islam. Number two, so we know that this is not real Sunnah, and in an authentic Hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to fast on all the Mondays. So the companions asked why. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said this was the day when he was born. But this does not mean you should start making all the Mondays as uh, Eid and Nawabi or the Prophet's birthday, because we know fasting on Eid is prohibited in Islam. So why would the Prophet fast on all the Mondays? Reason number three. we all know that muslims don't celebrate birthdays in the first case if you check our history birthdays used to be started uh, celebrating uh, by the egyptians and the greek and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever you imitate you are one of them on the day of judgment so do you want to be among the greeks number 4 celebrating the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's birthday is like christian celebrating the prophet isa alaihi wasallam's birthday so it's like imitating the christians and add in something new to islam which is not even there number 5 the prophet uh, sallallahu alaihi wasallam's companion who loved him more than we could ever do they never celebrated the birthday of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't they love him more than us and then six no way in the quran does it say to celebrate the prophet's birthday it says in the quran to celebrate eid ul fitr and eid ul adha but no way does it say to celebrate the prophet's birthday Number seven. It is widely believed that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away on the same day he was born. So if you are celebrating his birthday, it's actually celebrating his death. Number eight. The final one, which is more than enough to prove why the Prophet's birthday should not be celebrated, is that because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself told that the Muslims have only two festivals that should be celebrated every year. That is Eid ul Fitr and Eid ul Adha. So if you celebrated uh, any other festival other than that. it becomes an innovation and is rejected now these are the eight reasons that i could find a scholars can find even more but then i'm not a scholar you know so i only found like eight so this eight reasons are more than enough to prove why celebrating the prophet's birthday is wrong so no one forget to share this video with everyone though, who you think are going to celebrate the prophet's birthday or even fast on this day if you actually love the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you need to follow the authentic sunnah which is to fast on all the mondays Now, if you don't want to share this video, I'll try my best to put everything what I have said in the description below, so you can copy paste it to others. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe, as only this way this video can be recommended to more people. And that's it, yeah. Assalamualaikum.